Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Christina. Thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, amazing day today. I hope you guys are walking in your light and nobody is trying to block your light and all that good stuff. Just sending you positive energy, also sending you positive energy, hoping you get your raise, hoping you get your house, hoping you get your car, hoping you get that promotion, hoping you get, you know, you open those gifts, those portals, those doors, hoping you, hoping you access your true identity, hoping you win whatever battle you're going through. So I'm just hoping that you, you know, wishing you all positive energy on my channel today. I'm going to possibly be doing that as well. I was thinking about getting into that, like sending out positive messages and doing stuff like that too. Um, so that being said, I think I want to talk about, I really want to get into the Egyptian stuff. I really, really, really want to get into it. Okay, so it all it all ties together. It all ties together. Like I said, a lot of, if you watch my previous video, then you know what, you know what I'm talking about. When I say all of us are really Egyptian, all of us have Egyptian, Egyptian blood. Um, there's something called a, and the reason why this is important, the reason why the Egyptian knowledge of who you are is important because a lot of the false things that we are seeing are based on the truth. Let's talk about the Star of David. Okay, the, the Star of David is actually, I don't, okay, they want me to talk about the Star of David because I wasn't even thinking about the Star of David. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about the Star of David. But the Star of David is actually is actually a the, one of the highest vibrational symbols um, that represent the female structure the female power the female is representative of the female and as you know a lot of you know that the star of david has actually been um demonized and it, it actually it has actually been demonized by the patriarchal society by black magic um sorcery by powerful elite dark cabal it has really been talked about in a very negative day in a very negative way so when we see the star of david we run and basically and if you're a woman you're running from if you're a woman, you're running from yourself. If you see the Star of David and you think it's anything bad, then you think that yourself is bad because we are I we are the Star of David. Okay. The Star of David is, is actually is actually from the mother of it is all it is actually the mother principle. It is actually a creation of code. Okay, this code of creation. It is it is the code of creation, is what the female principle is created from. So when you when you see the Star of David being demonized, you know. You know what they're doing to you because remember we are the law of one. So if it's being done to, if they're demonizing it, it's they're actually demonizing you. It's energy. Remember everything is kind of energy. So a part of you is the star of David. A part of you is the star of David. So if you see the star of David being demonized, you have to know. Like these are just things you have to know. You know what that means? A part of you is being manipulated on other realms and other planets and other dimensions and you don't know. But now that you know, now that I'm telling you what the star of David is, you can actually command the star of David. You can use the star david in a positive way if you have one you know what to do if you have one and it's malfunctioning now you know you know um if you're using this, the star of david as a talisman and and it's kind of like not empowering or not having the energy or not having the power that you want it to have you know why powerful elite are using it okay powerful elite are using it with the um this is really not what i wanted to talk about but i guess it ties into everything so um i'm gonna talk about it so the powerful elite yes they use their deities. They use their... And what are deities? What are deities? They're demons. Okay. They're demons. Okay. They're interdimensional. They're interdimensional. They're, it's like the shadow world. The shadow world is so comp... It's just like this. To be perfectly honest with you, the shadow world is just like this. Where you have your government. You have your president. You have your vice president. You have everything like this in this physical world. You have it in the shadow world. So anyway, so the Star of David is being used by the powerful elite. Now they 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 sacrifice to their deities. Who are the who are their deities? Their deities are demons, okay? Their deities live in the interdimensions and in the multidimensions, okay? And they um they basically give them protection. They give them they exchange their energy, their sexual fluids, their money they do whatever they that the, whatever the deity tells them to do at the time of exchange energy exchange um for power whatever the deity tells them to do is what they do so it could be child sacrifice it could be blood sacrifice it could be worship it could be worship it could be energy sexual non-sexual killing murder whatever and so what the deity does now is give them power whatever it is that they want they can get you know whatever to them 
I'm, I'm, I'm telling you how the system works. Now, I don't, I, I know that in, in some, it has been working for many years because we've been sleeping, you know, we've been sleeping and this is why we're getting our behind kick because our ancestors are like, how are you letting them use, um, all of your tools and your jewels and your gifts that we have left you. Okay. The star of David was left. It's a creational code. It's a, it's the female empowerment tool. Um, so how are we letting these powerful people use these things? They know shit that we don't know. Okay. They're accessing it in a negative way but never ever be scared of that so the star of david is used by interdimensional entities interdimensional deities interdimensional gods and stuff like that they live in the interdimensions they live in the underworlds they live in the between spaces like remember i told you that we're in the lower heavens our ancestors and stuff are in the higher heavens so there's a space here right there's a space between us they live there and they do whatever they do and they build structures they build corporal and non-corporal structures they build a lot of artificial artificial instructions phantom structures you know stuff like that so when you see the star of david you know that it's definitely demonic okay when it's not being shined on the way that it's supposed to be shined on it is definitely demonic okay so you definitely want to know that Okay, um, now the reason why I wanted to talk to you about that is because, yes, in Egyptian, in Egyptian times, they, uh, these are all symbols. All of these things are symbols, but they're energy and they're connected to your ancestors and they're, they've been stolen by the powerful elite. They've been stolen by intermediary entities. They've been stolen by most shadow government. They've just been stolen. Everything has been stolen. So this is how it's all connected. It's all stolen. You have so much power. We have so much power. And we don't know. So when you see the Star of David, when you see the pan, when you hear about the pantheon of gods, okay, the pantheon of gods, okay, it's a tree of life. It is a tree of life. It is there. It is a true tree. There is a true tree of life, and it is an Egyptian. It is an Egyptian tool. It is an Egyptian structure. It has been cloned, replicated, used, and for sacrifice. Now, a lot of people. Um, a lot of people look at Egypt and they look at Africa like they think they automatically think of negative energy. They automatically go to witchcraft. They automatically go to voodoo. They automatically go there. But if you know anything about if you know anything about that, if they're trying to, if something is, is being so demonized, it's because there's a strong history there. There's a strong connection there. We have a strong connection there. They don't want you. They don't want you to. They don't want you to tap into the true energy there. They want you to be scared of it. They want to hawk. Basically, they want to divert your attention from that and make you think there's no energy there. There's no good there. No, they want to hog the energy there. They want to hog those two, the pantheon tree of life with Osis and Isis and all of the gods and all of the Egyptian gods there. They want to keep using it. They want to keep using it to create to um do their blood sacrifice do their child sacrifice their blood rituals their black magic all of that stuff they want to divert your attention away from egypt from africa and just make you think oh it's all bad don't even worry about it we they are no it's not true there is there are some real amazing amazing rich powerful energy there in africa in egypt with true 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 the true the true energy there true creational energy true creational codes and what happens is that they create they create all of these luciferian satanic stuff out of the egyptian energy out of the egyptian tree of life they clone it and they use it so we never access it for example we have the um we have the Freemasons, okay? We have the, those are the fallen trees of life. Those are the cloned trees of life because we know that, we know that Isis, I believe it was Isis was a protector. Isis was a Egyptian god. I'm sorry, Egyptian goddess who was a protector actually. That's who she was. Now, if you know anything about Freemasonry and if you know anything about the Illuminati, you know that these are patriarchal dominated cultures and patriarchal dominated forces who control them. Now, you know that is nothing like what his true history is about. If you know true history, you know that you have a lot of goddesses that actually protected and resurrected the gods. Those are cloned. Those are cloned true artifacts, true, true, true angelic, true form, pure history that is being used for satanic um, agendas for the new world order for the one world order for luciferians for satanic for draconians for shapeshifters for reptilians for all that stuff so i will be getting more detail into that but this is just a snippet of that so you could definitely look into your history look in your egyptian look into your egyptian history look into the egyptian um egyptian um legacy history of um 
of Ged, of Osis, of Isis. Um, look into it, get into it, see what it's about. Look into the Star of David. You have to really know your history and your legacy for yourself. Do not let anybody steal it from you because that's exactly what they did in the past and that's exactly what they're trying to do now. So thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing.